out of town on business, is he? Charlie asked, turning off the flashlight, putting one hand on the counter's edge to help pull himself up. Knees not what they used to be, he said. I expect him back any time now, Bree said, nervously twisting the silver choker necklace at the base of her throat. The truth was, Andrew wasn't due home from their place on the lake until sometime tomorrow, probably late Sunday afternoon. Of course, that could change if things went the way Bree thought they might. His friend and business partner, Greg Ramis, was up there with him at his own lake house, a stone's throw away. They'd both gone up Friday, and Bree had a feeling their guy's weekend might not go as smoothly as planned. What sort of work does he do? Charlie asked. A contractor, Bree said. Small to medium sized projects, strip malls, townhouses, fast food joints, that kind of thing. Charlie made a face, his eyes darting about the kitchen for half a second, as though making a judgment. Okay, he said. Bree laughed nervously. Let me guess, you're thinking this isn't much of a house for a contractor. Didn't say that. What you see here is the before picture. The place needs a lot of work. We're at that point where we have to decide whether the place can be renovated, then maybe flip it, or whether it makes more sense to tear the entire house down and rebuild. We're one of the oldest houses on Mulberry. She shrugged. In the meantime, I'd rather not be sharing the place with little furry rodents.